Hey, what's happening guys? Before we start today's video, a big thank you to each and every one of you. This past weekend, the channel went over 10,000 subscribers. That is just incredible. I don't know what else to say. Thank you. So, that being said, let's take a look at this color sensor module here. I ordered off eBay from Alice 110-1983, also known as Julian's Wife. So this is the uh, TCS-230 chip right here in the center of this breakout board. And then we have these four clear white LEDs that are used to illuminate whatever is being sensed. And then the color is reflected back into this sensor here. Now it has eight outputs, VCC and ground, OE, which is output enable, and then out, which is your actual output. And then it also has S1, S0, S2, and S3. Now, you're gonna notice this breakout board is spread across two breadboards. I hate that. I hate that, I hate that. That's that's a crap design. You could make this small enough to fit into one breadboard. I don't know why they do that, but anyway. So, to test this thing here in a couple minutes, I've got some different colored pieces of papers, red, green, blue. I've also got black and white. Now, when I first talked about this sensor in the... Uh, slow boat from china episode number 13 i said it converts the colors to a current i was wrong it converts the colors to a frequency i really don't like this sensor i'm going to show you how to use it but i ordered another color sensor from adafruit that i think is going to be a lot better i, I guess it's a case if you get what you pay for this was 99 cents and you're going to get 99 cents worth of color sensing out of it all right, first of all, you're going to need two libraries, and there will be a link to both of them down below. The Frequency Count Library is called Freak Count, and the MD230 uh, Library from Magic Designs, there's a link to both of them. The, the MD230, which is the library for this sensor, relies on the Frequency Count Library in order to work. Now, the connections for this are relatively simple there's really not much to it ground goes to ground vcc in this case is going to five volts output enable is going to d8 output in my case is going to d5 right here okay and the way you're going to figure out your output is depending on whether you're using a Nano or an Uno, they use the same pins. Omega is going to use different pins. Um, you're going to need to look that up in the Freak Count uh, library documentation. It'll tell you which pin to use. So D5 is the pin it's looking for. And then S2 and S3 go to D12 and D13. And really, that's all there is to it. When we power it up, The LEDs illuminate. And uh, let me bring up the sample program that we're going to use. It's right out of the library. And it is called Simple NB TCS 230. We'll be right back. Got everything set up here. We'll bring up our, our window. And you can see the color values expressed as red, green, and blue being shown. So first we're going to do a white. So I bring the white over here and you can see our color value is all two five fives. Next I'm going to bring in the black disc and you can see we're getting low values 57s, 30s, and 50s. Next we'll bring in a blue disc You can see we have high values on blue, low values on the other two. Then we will bring in the green disc. And 
And finally, the red disk. And you can see how it affects all the values. Like I said, there's nothing much going on here. It's just converting those values into a frequency. I'm just sticking that there so it doesn't blind the camera. Now, I was going to do a little sample where we take an L RGB LED and take those colors and convert it, but to be honest with you, I can't not get consistent readings from this thing. I don't know whether it's a software or a hardware issue. I suspect it's a hardware issue. Marco Colley writes fantastic libraries, so I don't believe the problem is in his library. I believe it's a hardware issue. So that's why I ordered the Adafruit color sensor. It'll be here in a couple days. And we will re-examine this with that Adafruit color sensor. So that's it for this. I mean, there's really not much to say about it. It does work. It does not appear to be reasonably accurate. I can't recommend it. I really can't. So that's the end of this one. If you guys enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to all you guys. Everybody that subscribed, man, give yourself a, a thumbs up. Holy cow. I've been at this, what? Not even, not even year and a half and I'm at 10,000 subscribers just blows me away you guys are awesome anyway that's it I'm out peace